بصيرة أنا ومن اتبعني بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعض And what was collected by Al-Imam Al-Bukhari May Allah have rahma upon him The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Performed the farewell pilgrimage Upon returning to Al-Madina There was a woman who He asked her What prevented you from performing Hajj with us This year The lady told him the reason He instructed her Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And said What you should do is When Ramadan comes you should perform the Umrah during Ramadan. And he told us, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Umratun fi Ramadan, Ta'dilu Hajj or Hijj, Hijjatin Ma'i. He said, Performing Umrah in the month of Ramadan equals a Hajj with me. This goes to show that an individual who wants to receive a lot of rewards with Allah, Azawajal, he is encouraged to perform the Umrah in Ramadan. Because the one who performs Umrah in Ramadan, it is equal to performing the Hajj with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that goes to show the Azim Rahmah of Allah Azawajal and the Fadl of Allah. And that he gives to people far beyond what they do. The rewards that he gives, it extends far beyond what they actually succeeded in accomplishing from their deeds and their actions. But what I want to do now, inshallah, is I want to explain what did the scholars say concerning the interpretation of this particular hadith. Scholars had three different opinions about the hadith. Some of the ulama, as Al Imam Ibn Hajjim mentioned, and it was his opinion, they said that this hadith is special, it's khas, it's specific to this woman and this woman alone. That he told that particular lady, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and may Allah be pleased with her, when Ramadan comes around, you, if you perform the Hajj, the, the, the Umrah in Ramadan, you will get the reward of performing Hajj with me. So it's only for her, and it's exclusively to her and for her. Some of the other scholars said, no, 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 no. This hadith, the understanding of it is, the individual who intended to perform Al-Hajj, and for one reason or another, he was prevented from performing the Hajj. His visa didn't come in time. He wasn't able to renew his passport in a good amount of time. He had less than six months on his passport, so they refused to give him the visa. He couldn't get off of work. All of the possibilities that could happen that would prevent him from performing the Hajj. This individual, if he was prevented from performing the Hajj, then what he was allowed to do was when Ramadan comes around for him, he should perform the Umrah in Ramadan and then he will get the reward of performing Hajj with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The third and the final position is what the scholars mentioned. They said that this hadith is general. Any and everyone who performs Hajj or Umrah in Ramadan, he'll get the reward of performing Hajj. And this is for two reasons. One reason is that this hadith has many narrations connected to it, varying and different narrations. Some of the narrations don't mention anything about the lady's story. Different companions narrate the hadith. Some of them said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam simply said, Umratun for Ramadan, ta'dilu hijjah. Umrah in Ramadan equals a Hajj. And it didn't say with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And some of them just mentioned the Hadith without the story of the lady. So there are many narrations that don't even mention the lady. They exclude the lady, which goes to show it's general. It's for everyone. And another reason is we found that the companions, may Allah be pleased with them, and the successors or the Tabi'un after the companions, and the followers of the successors, and the ulama after them, they were very eager in engaging themselves and trying to make Umrah in Ramadan. So when we find the companions, all or many of them trying to perform Umrah in the month of Ramadan, it goes to show that their understanding of the hadith and the instruction and the encouragement of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was general and it was for everyone. So I'm asking you, I'm requesting you, I'm reminding you, I'm advising you. If you have the ability to perform the Umrah in Ramadan, or if you made the niyyat and you made preparations to make the Umrah in Ramadan, 
then this is a tremendous reward. It is like performing the Hajj with the Prophet wasallam, And we know when the Nabi wasallam informed his companions that he was going to perform the farewell pilgrimage, everybody made it their business to try to accompany him on that pilgrimage. May Allah make the road to his house easy for all of us. Allah has the right over all mankind that they make the pilgrimage and they make the journey to his house for those who have the ability. Hada wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barik ala nabiyyina wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.